Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. I finally have an official number. 65 new students join us in October. I am blown away by your support. Today's tutorial is all about the new video editor suite Canva has to offer. Let's get started. When you go to your Canva homepage, you're going to notice something video and a big bright word that says new. It means it's no longer in beta. You can also just click video right here and it will give you different video options like video that's 1920 by 1080, a Facebook video that's 1080 by 1080, a video collage at Square. So there are a lot of options and I'm kind of winging this tutorial. I've not planned it out. So let's see where it goes. Click video. If I click on it, it suggests that I apply all 10 pages. And this is really great, especially if you are doing a slideshow presentation. And when you apply 10 pages, you will notice that 10 pages pop up down here at the bottom. This is the video timeline. I'm not going to play it for you, but I do want you to see that you can actually drag these clips, making clips longer or shorter or whatever. And that's what this timeline does. And you left click on the end and you can drag it. You can even click on it, right click and split. You can take one clip and move it elsewhere in the video. Now, the only thing that I've found is that there is only one timeline in terms of for video. Later on, I think I will discover that you can put multiple audio tracks there. If I right click, there's an add a page. It would add a blank page and I could create stuff just like I would normally do. Let's see what else is there. Duplicate, so you can duplicate a page. You can add a transition. We talked about this recently on Wednesday's video. You can add a transition and dissolve things, give it a line wipe or even a circle. You're not going to tell much of a difference here because they're the same clip. So there are one, two, three, four transitions at this time that you can apply to your project. So there's a plus sign. You can add a transition there. You can leave notes. If you're doing this as a presentation, you can leave notes for yourself. You can look at grid view so that you can see it a little better as to what things are and move things just like you would normally move them. But in grid view, you can add a page and duplicate and delete and of course move, but you can't do anything else in grid view. I'm going to click these and delete. Oh, I'm doing it the slow way. I can select all right here and delete all six pages. I typed in relax. I have my filter down to free so that all Canva frugal users can use this. And I'm just going to throw in three different clips. Here's one that's 11 seconds. Right click, set video as background. I'm going to add a page. Here's a second clip. It's 13 seconds. Right click, set video as page. And then let's add this third clip, 23 seconds. Now we've got a 46 second clip here that I can play and you'll see the timeline moving across this page, page three. And let's say that I wanted an overlay on top of it. That would look kind of cool. So this is when I would add the grid. I'm gonna duplicate and add a grid on top of this. What about this? with a transparency. 
You see where I'm going with this? Okay, what about this? With a transparency. Actually, I think I like this one better. It kept the transparency. And now let's go here. Position center and middle. And what about this? With, of course, transparency. And I'm going to see, let's see, let's crop it a little bit. What I did was I double clicked the image and then I went to the little white circles and brought it in. And then I'm going to flip it and move it in a little bit. Double click, drag it across. Let's add a transition of dissolve. What do I want a line white? Let's do a line white and I'm going to go ahead and apply it between all of the pages. And you will see now that the transition has changed. It looks like this and like this. And I'm going to play this 30 second clip. We'll just look at it real quickly. And you will see the overlay and all of that. It's a double effect with two different things. And it's probably a little too short. And what honestly I would do is instead of doing it that way, I'm going to delete these. Remember this one was really long. And what I would do is split, get your little arrow here where you would like it. Right click split and then maybe do another one. That way the image in the front, I mean in the back stays the same, but change the image here. It's pretty awesome that you can create things. And here's the other thing. Now I can go and create text. Let me go to the text bar. My keyboard does not seem to be working, at least for the keyboard shortcuts. And here's my add a heading. So now I can add my words. You can add your text effects. Let's talk music. I've got a couple clips here that I know that I can use. So you can click on your audio. You can crop it. You adjust it just how much or where it plays in the song if you're only using a snippet of the song click done what else can you do you can adjust the volume you can duplicate it and you can delete it but let me just show you i can add a second audio there and more like it seems like you can add multiple layers of audio and that's great my hope is that they will eventually allow you to add multiple layers of video as well because then you could create something truly spectacular all you have to do is click on it and delete you can upload your own audio, which is what I did here for YouTube. I knew that there were certain songs that I can use. So I uploaded those songs here that I know that I can use. I really like Lucid Dreamer. If I go to Elements to Audio tab, I filtered it for free. But all of these are free with Canva Pro. There are not a whole lot of free options with the Canva free, which is why I like to go outside of Canva and pick out music that I know is not going to get me in trouble with YouTube because it's free use. You can add anything you want on top of it. You want an element? 
add an element, add a transition. You can even change the duration of the transition and make it slower. You want to dissolve. There's a really slow dissolve. You can change that as well. So the best thing is I really, this is what I recommend. Go into a video file, go to elements, just type in whatever it is you want to type in and see if you can find a video that you can play around with. Beach Sand Relaxation. View more from Tom Fisk but from Pexels. Our set video is background. And then play around with it. Try splitting your image. Right click split. Try adding text on top of it. The text tab, add a heading. Go to the beach. Add yourself a grid so that you can add something on top of it. Play with the transparency. What about family? I mean, it's a pretty cool thing. So try it out. Add transitions, add pages, split the file, move the files around. If you're truck if you're struggling with this sort of timeline look and you're trying to move things around, go to your grid view and you can move things around that way. I do that a lot. Tomorrow is the final day of the subscriber celebration. Seven Canva tutorials in seven days. And that's all thanks to you. Thanks so much for learning with me. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you like today's Canva lesson and want to see more like it, be sure to press the thumbs up button so I know you enjoyed this sort of tutorial. My suggestion for you is to watch one of these two tutorials next. See you next time. Bye.